Oh my god, Rich Mitch, what's the candle like? I mean, it's amazing. It smells great, doesn't it? Everybody says congratulations. Jack, wouldn't this be a very Burberry type of thing, dressing that bottle in tweed? Maybe that's why they don't do it. Guys, we got another news flash coming in. We got another news flash coming in, you guys. This one concerning Chanel. And uh, the interesting thing about it is that I cannot open this freaking iPad to read the news to you. Hold on a second. It's because, um, actually, the real news flash should be since Apple announced the release of the new iPads, the iOSs are killing off all the old ones, so you gotta buy a new one. So that's a news flash too, but the actual news flash is about Chanel. Chanel and the University of Cambridge. Yes, it's Chanel and the University of Cambridge announce a new partnership. Chanel and Cambridge, okie dokie. They announced a new partnership to focus on sustainability solutions and leadership. Uh-huh. What does that mean? So, news from uh, 27th April 2021, Chanel has today announced, this is from the cisl.cam.ac.uk website, Chanel has today announced a new three-year partnership with the University of Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership, the CISL. This unique multifaceted partnership will combine tailored sustainability education programs, innovative operational projects, and scholarships focused on driving greater inclusion. What does this mean? Hmm. It will draw on expertise from across the University of Cambridge, including the Institute of Manufacturing, the Cambridge Judge Business School, and its climate change initiative, Cambridge Zero, to advance practical sustainability solutions to specific business and societal challenges, including how to reduce and avoid carbon emissions and address biodiversity loss. The Chanel CISL partnership will initially focus on three main streams of work. One being building an education and sustainability leadership program. Professional development on sustainability topics is critical to drive change, and this is mirrored by the widespread appetite among Chanel employees to learn more about these subjects. CISL will help structure a customized education program for Chanel management and key operational teams to raise awareness and deepen knowledge on diverse topics ranging from biodiversity and climate change to the use of materials and resources. Two, innovative operational projects. The partnership will launch a series of three innovation sprints each lasting up to 18 months. Each sprint will frame key questions and bring together insights and expertise from across Cambridge University to accelerate innovation within Chanel on business challenges and opportunities initially relating to specific products and processes in fashion along with its wider business. CISL will then bring together a pool of experts to help accelerate innovative ideas and to prototype solutions for direct application within Chanel. Hmm. Three, supporting today's students to create tomorrow's leaders. Chanel will sponsor individuals from underrepresented backgrounds to join CISL's Masters in Sustainability Leadership Program over the next three years, providing the largest support of a master's program by a single company. Chanel will also work with students from across the University of Cambridge to help them apply smart ideas to real-world problems and advance Chanel's sustainable transformation strategy. What, it does a tra um, what does a sustainable transformation strategy look like for a luxury brand? I'm dying to hear. This partnership builds on Chanel's strong relationship with CISL over several years, focusing on sustainability, education, and research. Again, where is the sustainability? You keep repeating it like your life depended on it, but you ain't telling us what's it all about. 
Chanel's collaboration with Cambridge University builds on the company's journey to work with leading academic institutions, mission-driven sustainability, here we go again with the word, mission-driven sustainability organizations, NGOs, industry associations, and governments around the world to support research and action on topics key to its sustainable transformation journey. The sustainable... Chanel, why don't you just make a t-shirt and call it a day? Print it on the t-shirt and call it Chanel's <laughs> Chanel's Sustainable Transformation Journey. You guys, <laughs> you can't you can't invent stuff like this. <laughs> like yeah. Okay. Anyway, Chanel. All right. Um Andrea Davak, Chief Sustainability Officer at Chanel. Chanel has a sustainability officer. Uh, so uh, Andrea Davak, the Chief Sustainability Officer at Chanel, said, Sustainability is the new black. <laughs> That's what I think he said now, but, or she. I don't know if it's a he or a she. Sustainability is one of the critical challenges facing our society today. And also very in vogue to talk about, isn't it? And a key strategic priority for Chanel. Okay. We are delighted to partner with one of the world's most prestigious universities and academic institutes. This new partnership reflects key pillars of our business transformation, from research and insights that deepen our understanding to finding tangible solutions that positively impact our supply chain and wider communities. This is underpinned by educational initiatives that will help to embed a sustainability mindset to accelerate change. Very political way of phrasing something to make it sound mind-bogglingly fashionable and fancy. But still, no answers to the question, what is sustainable? Claire Shine, Director and Chief Executive Officer uh, at CISL, said, For over 800 years, the University of Cambridge has been at the forefront of driving change. CISL has an unrivaled track record of building leadership capability, advancing knowledge, and delivering real-world solutions. This is a really important partnership with Chanel that can generate long-term benefits at global scale. Many of the solutions required for truly sustainable economies and societies do not yet exist. Here we get to the point. All they're talking about doesn't exist. <laughs> Let me. Many of the solutions required for truly sustainable economies and societies do not yet exist are not commercially viable, are not yet fully scalable. We believe that this bold research-backed initiative will help Chanel in its ongoing efforts to shape the future of luxury, inform leadership and best practices, and inspire responsible businesses around <laughs> the world. And that's the end of the, uh, the article. Great, commendable, commendable. The idea is commendable, but it kind of comes at a time when sustainability is a fashionable topic to talk about. Um, would have been cooler had Chanel done this already 20, 30, 40 years ago. Doing it today is a little bit like saying sustainable is the new black. Okay, you guys, let me get to the uh, chats because we are filming live in front of a live uh, virtual audience. Thumb up this video, thumb up this newsflash if you've liked it, if you have liked it thus far. Roja says, blah, 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 business words. Christy says, this sounds like a resume that has been really inflated. Bruno says, I want Chanel vaccines, <gasps> the fabulous double C vaccines by Chanel. What do they vaccinate, vaccinate you against? Lack of style, darling. I have been vaccinated against lack of style. The worst virus known to man in today's first world society. Lack of style virus. Chanel has the vaccine. It's incredible to see Chanel's sustainable vocabulary, huh, Tati says. <laughs> Henry says, shape the future of luxury? You mean milking the consumer for all they're worth? Henry's words, not mine. Mr. Philip Fabulous says, so basically they're going to invent the wheel 
Right. That's what they're trying to tell us, that like without them, there is no such thing as sustainability. Miss B says, so much talk from CC about sustainability, lol. I can't even. I know, it's a bit cringe, right? It's at the point where you just, you gotta laugh about it. The lecturers at Cambridge are honestly, says Jack, are honestly horrible people. My friend has had so many bad experiences there. <laughs> Audrey says, I have not heard any examples of sustainability. No, not even one. And the only thing that they say is it doesn't exist yet. Mikey says, sustain my pussy. <laughs> Bruna says, I swear, the Dior Chanel marketing team IQ is lower than room temperature. But honey, we're in the room right now. I would think the room temperature would be a little bit rising at least. Jack says, are they paying the students? The university? Who is this really for? Jack, that's also a really good question. Who is this really for? Who can afford to study at Cambridge University, first and foremost? So it's the elite of tomorrow that's going to get educated, probably. I mean, they do say that they're going to offer some programs to also disadvantaged groups, but you know how it is. Politically speaking, just like in Hollywood, you know, the minority groups also have to be represented. Sure, it's a political correctness type of thing, not because they want to help people who are disadvantaged economically, but just because morally it's fashionable to say, you know, a certain percentage of our students are come from also poor uh, backgrounds so that they can keep their moral slate clean. But we know that of that little tiny percentage of the disadvantaged, economically disadvantaged students, not a tiny percent of those will make it into the working world one day, but it's the rich elite that's in these universities that's going to keep on reigning the world. It's the way of the... It's the way of the capitalist world, okay, you guys? That's just the way it is. And also, this whole talk about sustainability and blah, blah, blah. You know, Chanel, super luxury, high-end brand. And then you have Cambridge, super luxury, high-end university. You know, they merge, you know, churning out new elite leaders of the world of tomorrow. And uh, this whole sustainability package is just something that they can carry just as a little met as a little token, like all of the little different medals and tokens that they carry throughout their entire scholastic academic careers, just so that they can say one day when they're out and about in the work world or in the professional world where they're looking for a job, they could say, you know, I also have this degree that I did with Chanel together with the Cambridge uh, Institute, blah, blah, or a university dedicated to or specialized in sustainability for luxury brands. So you could imagine how that just sounds great on paper, but ultimately you ain't gonna, you know what I mean? It's not, you're not, you're not gonna win the Nobel Prize for delivering peace on earth, which is far more needed than some luxury brand kind of trying to sell us the idea and the concept of, oh, I can be sustainable too. But let me just like think about it first. Like, let's like, let's like debate about it. I'm like, really? It's 2021, boo-boo. The sustainability issue was an issue the second you started creating fashion, which in Chanel's case was around about 1916. That's when you should have started already thinking about sustainability, already back then developing stuff, but not now when, when it's fashionable to talk about it. That's the joke of this whole situation. And then what? You're delivering it to, to rich people at Cambridge, to the students of tomorrow, so that they can also say that they were involved in sustainability. It's just a great topic for brunch, for a luncheon with your friends on the weekend. In, in America, if you're in the Hamptons for the weekend, and then you can say like, oh, yes, I was at the course. Oh, sustainability is so important. Let me call my driver with the five limos that I have, I, because they need to drive me to the next brunch sustainability much? Yeah, guys, I mean, let's not beat around the bush about this. This is a political thing because it's important today to talk about this. Not that anybody gives an F and F about it or that they really want to develop truly... I'm sure some scientist and some researcher out there really want this to work, but ultimately from a brand's perspective, all they want is to have a good standing in the eye of the judging public. Uh, and the judging public's moral of today is all about sustainability. You gotta have that word, sustainability, integrated in the presentation of your brand in some way, shape, or form. If you don't have that word, sustainability, um, implemented in your own branding, then you're kind of like, you're not, you're not with it. You're not hip. <laughs> and this is the sad part about it. Nobody really cares about the sustainability because ultimately, let me, let me just break it down for you. And I hate to break it to you, but fashion is not sustainable. It never was and it never will be. 
And I, you know, Jacob's quotes, go to my Instagram, Super Jacob, I'll spell together, you're going to see what I mean. Fashion is not sustainable. The only thing that's ever going to be sustainable is style. But not everybody has style. But once you got style, you have it forever. That's where you can be sustainable. But you got, you don't stand a chance at being sustainable in fashion. Especially if, like Chanel, you jumped up from two, four collections a year to ten collections a year. How the hell is that sustainable? Don't let them fool you. Sustainability is just a new black. Let me get to more chats. So what's your role? Uh, I'm a sustainability officer, says Audrey. Exactly. <laughs> this sounds so constructed, says Roja. Uh, darling, I ain't got enough vodka to take a shot every time they mention sustainability, says Mr. Philip Fabulous. Oh, gosh, I would have been in a telic coma by now had I done that. Robert says sustainability officer. Oh, my God, so funny. Uh, yeah, Chanel has a sustainability officer. I'm dying. They have a sustainability officer, you guys. Like I said, fire that marketing team, says Debbie. Henry says, girl, sounds uh, like just another ploy from the marketing team. Oh, hell yeah. Everybody says, how many times can Chanel say sustainable? Roger says sustainability. Miss B says sustainability. <laughs> Jack says, journey, journey, journey. Um, too many catchwords in this statement from Chanel. Yes, definitely. Delta Work says, this seems more like a ploy for children to act sustainable rather than put an effort into being sustainable. Well, guys, thank you so much for Candy Fluff says Chanel uh, and Real World Problems. LOL. I know you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Child, they are being arrogant AF, says Robert. Yes, oil and water, folks. I know, this was all a weird, weird mess. Chanel and sustainability don't go together. No, they don't. Aisha says, I don't understand what it is, but want a place on that damn Chanel court. You want a place on the course? Will they not destroy unsold merchandise? Good point. They're going to keep destroying what they don't sell, you guys. All luxury brands, and not just luxury brands, after a certain point, what has not been sold gets destroyed just to keep the value on the market of their of their image, which is so sad. Christy says, yeah, my husband ordered a new iPad yesterday and spent all the perfume money. Oh, no, I'm telling you, Apple, 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 it's going to be the death of us. But we love it so much, don't we? But humans usually do love things that are not good for them. Like cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, you know, all that stuff. Apple, I classify Apple as one of those luxuries that kind of kill you because they kind of milk you of your money and they're not really very fair in terms of, you know, the iOS kills off the iPad after three or four years, like mine is dying now. Uh, Jacob, you're killing me tonight. Laughter. Thank you so much. Rich Mitch says, I'm Confucian. <laughs> Good, because Confucian makes us think. Letty says, I feel like I'm watching the fashion version of CNN. Yes, darling. <laughs> we snap it. We are. We are. Not the, not the CNN. We're the, the, the FCN, the fashion CNN. FNN. The fashion. Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> FNN, they destroy tons of their stuff. What's sustainability? I know, Robert, it's dreadful. Guys, thumb up this video if you liked it. Push the subscription button and next to it, the join button and become a member today. By becoming a member, you gain access to extra perks. Join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together on Patreon as well. Also, there you gain access to extra perks. Amongst the many perks is being listed in the scrolling bar, in the sidebar, uh, at the end of every video as a co-producer of the Fashion Bunker. Thank you so much to all my patrons and members and members. B, enunciate, diction, members who have already pledged to the Fashion Bunker. I salute you and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you also to all my co-chatters and co-reviewers of the Newsflash here live with me right now in the Fashion Bunker. Follow me also on Instagram, Super Decob all spelled together, as well as on my Chanel dedicated Instagram profiles. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, dedicated to my Chanel collection. And the second one, Coco Chanel Privé, dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel, which quite frankly, after she has read this article, will be probably rolling around in her tomb thinking, what the hell are they doing with my company, you guys? Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.